Parallax Tiny Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how Blocklyprop allows you to make great graphs using the serial terminal. Today, we'll be graphing the distance measured by a ping ultrasonic sensor and comparing it to that same distance measured by the new laser ping sensor. Our code number for this project is code 49203 and is shared publicly. Our pings are connected to pin number 9 for the traditional ping, and the laser ping is connected to pin number 8. Let's now look at how to build that circuit. To build the ping circuit, go to Blockly Prop Robotics with the Activity Bot. That's what we're using. Go to the section under Navigate with Ultrasound, and then go to the part that's labeled Build and Test the Ping Sensor Circuit. When you scroll down the page, you'll see how it works. The circuit is connected like this, ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt, and the signal through a 2.2 K ohm resistor to whatever pin you want to attach it. For our project, we'll put the traditional pin side by side with the laser pin. Remember that each is wired exactly the same. They function interchangeably with one another. We have the traditional ping set up on pin number 9, and the laser ping is set on pin number 8. Let's now take a look at the code. We have a loop that repeats forever inside the code. Over under the communicate section, under graph, we drug out the graph initialized block and the graph value block. We place them inside the repeat forever loop. The first one, the graphed initialized block, keeps our values on the, on the y-axis for 10 seconds. It's set up for a range from a minimum of 0 to a maximum of 30. We're graphing the value received from each of the ping sensors, the traditional ping on ping 9 and the laser ping on, ping, on pin 8. The values we're receiving are set to being in centimeters, and we've labeled those ping centimeter and laser ping centimeter. We've paused for one second or a thousand milliseconds between each measurement. You'll notice that on the setup, I had the laser ping sitting slightly in front of the traditional ping. When we load and run the program, saving it to EEPROM, It'll show that our compile has succeeded and the download is happening. Up pops the graph. Values above 30 centimeters don't show, but as soon as we place something in front of the pings, you'll see we begin reading values. The ping centimeters is reading at 27 currently, and the laser ping is reading at 26. As we move back and forth, these values will change, showing how they work. Remember, that we have this laser ping reading at a slightly shorter distance than the value of the ping, and that shows up in the graph. As we get close, the values go down. As we move farther out, the values go up. Returning to our workspace area, you can see how we've kept 10 seconds of data showing on the graph, and we've set our range again, as I said, to a minimum of zero and a maximum of 30 centimeters. That gives us a little limit to what the graph shows. When we run the program again, you'll see it pop back up. And our values begin to read. Notice that at the bottom, the time is shown in seconds. And notice that the value is shown the distance value is shown between 0 and 30. The blue is for the traditional ping, the green is for the laser ping. Now let's move the laser ping so that it lines up exactly with the traditional ping by scooching it back on the breadboard. This time as I move the blocking object back and forth along the scale here in centimeters, you'll see what the graph reads. Now, when we load the program to EEPROM, it'll show that the compile succeeded, and again, we begin making our readings. As we move the 
blocked obstacle in front of the ping, you can see that now that the pings are more even, that the values are closer to one another, often showing the same value in the lines overlapping. One last thing to take a look at as our values go off the top of the scale. We can pause the graph. We can take a photo and download a snapshot of the graph by clicking this button. We can download the graph um, as a CSV file, or we can clear the graph. It's as simple as that to use graphing to create great ways to measure things with BlocklyProp. Give it a try.